Hi, welcome back. Today this isn't so much a review, but it's something I thought might help you, especially for new MakerBot operators or MakerBot owners. Uh, and the problem is that MakerBot's been out of stock, especially in the black filament, for quite a while. And if you're running low on black filament and you're waiting for MakerBot to get back in stock, you might try looking at some other sources. And that's what I did. And at first I figured, well, I, I should really stick with just MakerBot products because it's their machine. They make the plastic. I'm sure their plastic will work with their printer, and I didn't want to just start ordering things and uh, maybe run into problems and have to figure out a whole bunch of stuff. But I figured, well, why not, right? Let's let's try it out. So I ordered some plastic from Proto Paradigm, and I'm not affiliated with the company in any way. Uh, I've never ordered from them before, but I thought I might share my experience with you and let you know what I found. So I ordered two colors from Proto Paradigm. I ordered uh, black and green. This is a spool of their black ABS filament. It's 1.75 millimeter ABS. This is a kilogram of their black. Uh, I measured it at 1.72 millimeters. And I did my first print with it over the weekend, and I'm really pleased. It came out nice. It, it's good. Um, just to show you the comparison, this is what a MakerBot spool looks like. The, the, proto, the proto Paradigm spool fits exactly on the same spool holder. You don't have to make any changes, you don't have to print any custom holders. You can just pop your Proto Paradigm spool right on the same spool you've already been using for your MakerBot uh, filament. So that's nice. Um, I noticed that the, the the Proto Paradigm filament seems a little a little different in character. It's like a little springier. I, I can't show you. But here's two pieces. Uh, the blue is, is MakerBot. The green here is Proto Paradigm. There's not much difference, but it does seem like the uh, Proto Paradigm plastic is a little stiffer. Not by much. I don't know if it matters. But I'm getting some nice prints, and that's that's really what it's all about. So the first print that I made, and I was waiting for green, because if you're going to print Yoda, right, it's got to be green. And when I, came, when I came into the room and I saw this sitting there waiting for me, it's just fantastic, right? I mean, who doesn't want to print Yoda? I mean, I was a kid when Star Wars came out, so... Um, and I did, I did shoot a time lapse of the building of, of Yoda and it came out nice. And so there's really, really, it's just, it's just a fantastic print. Uh, the overhang on the ears did not require any support. And um, I printed two. I printed two. These are both with the Proto Paratime Green. Uh, one is, let's see which is which. One is 0.2 millimeter layer height and one is 0.1. This is the 0.2. It came out really nice. Very, very nice. And then this is the point one. Came out even nicer. Uh, there's more detail. I'm not sure if I can catch it here with this lighting. Um, I'll take some stills and you'll be able to see it. But the, the details, especially around the, the, the eyes and the mouth, on the point one really came out nice. Now, I did have a problem on the top of the head. You can see just when it was finishing off, uh, it kind of melted. I think that's what happened. It melted the top and created those holes in there. And I think that's because... As the, uh, as the extruder was going round and round and round and round in finer and finer and finer circles, that heat was just concentrated and it melted the plastic that was already there. Um, so I may have to lower the temperature of the extruder when I build this model. It happened, the same thing happened on the point two and the point one. I hope you can see that on there. Uh, but still, they, they, came, they came out great. And even the, you know, even the back is just nice, you know, the, it's Yoda, it's Yoda. You know, what do you, it's Yoda. So as a comparison, I wanted to see what uh, the yellow, or uh, excuse me, what the, 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 the Porto Paradigm, Paradigm Green was like compared to yellow. So I took something I'd already printed out in yellow, and this is an owl off of Thingiverse, uh, as is Yoda, and I'll, I'll put those links in here. Um, the Yoda and the owl came from Thingiverse. And this was printed on MakerBot filament, and then I printed... I printed one with uh, the Proto Paradigm filament, and they're both very, they're identical. There's, there's no problem. I, I didn't have any problem at all with the Proto Paradigm filament. Uh, so based on this short experience, I'd easily order from them again if MakerBot didn't have what I wanted, or maybe just order from Proto Paradigm. I'm not sure if it if it matters. It seems to not matter. So um, you know, Proto Paradigm they, they ship uh, they ship theirs wrapped in plastic with a desiccant pack in there, although I can't see it right now, I think it's in there somewhere, 
Well, the green one had one. That's interesting. Let's see. I, I paused the video because I wanted to make sure before I said the wrong thing. There, there's no desiccant in this package. The, the green had it and the black doesn't for whatever reason. I don't know. Uh, I wish it did. I live in Houston. It's a very uh, Houston, Texas. It's very humid here. So, as long as I keep it sealed up, I'll be all right. Uh, I am still kind of sorting out a way to store my filament. Um, I thought about getting some desiccant packs that you can reuse, put in the oven and reuse, and store my things in a maybe a plastic bin with a lid. So far, I'm putting them back in the plastic bags, back in the box with with the desiccant it came with. But um, over time, I think I'll probably run into problems as the plastic swells. So no desiccant in this Proto Paradigm package. Don't know why. Uh, I was also going to share with you some other things that I've um, been printing some more larger, more adventurous prints. And uh, this is cool. This is also from Thingiverse. And um, this is a planetary gear set. And it's exploding. So you can run it uh, when it's contracted or you can open it up and watch it go. And it's just really neat. And then the fact that all the parts just made it up so nicely. and. Uh, I printed two of these. I, I, I've got this one. I've got parts for another one over there. And it does require a little bit of sanding to make everything work smoothly, so I haven't um, assembled the other one yet. Um, as long as we're as long as we're looking, something else I made. Um, uh, this is a stand for my iPhone to go on the treadmill. Just clip it on there, and I can uh, watch Netflix or whatever I'm watching there, the news or. But uh, this is the first thing I've designed and printed myself, so that was pretty cool. I'll, pr I'll probably come back and show some pictures or something on there. It's not, not too much to see, it's just a little bracket. But the point was I measured it, and I built it in SketchUp, and I printed it, and it actually came out right, and that was, that's nice. Um, and I will make a video just on, just on this, because this is crucial. This is about leveling the build platform. And uh, someone on Thingiverse made this, this jig, and you can put your dial indicator in there if you have one. If you don't have one, you can get one. Uh, this one came from Harbor Freight. It's about $30. And it does inches and millimeters. And uh, basically, you would sit this on the rails and move it around the build plate. And as it goes up and down, you'll, you'll get, uh, you can fine tune it much better than you can with a little piece of paper. So, what I'm doing is I'm using paper first. Uh, get uh, actually go around a couple times with paper, just using the built-in script for leveling, and then come through when it's uh, pretty level and, and use this for fine-tuning, and it, it really helps. The other thing is uh, make sure to do your leveling when the build plate's hot. Um, now that I have this, I can actually measure the difference between hot and cold, and it's significant. It's more than a, more than uh, more than a layer height of plastic. So at least on my printer. Um, the front, the, the, what's happening is the, the front of the heated build platform is lowering when it warms up versus the back by about 0.4 millimeters, which is a lot, right? If I'm printing 0.2 millimeter layer height or, you know, with this Yoda 0.1 and it shifts by 0.4, that's, uh, you know, that's huge. So, uh, but I, I wanted to come back and show how this operates. I think it's, it's really important because... I was having problems early on with uh, prints lifting and curling and all kinds of cracking and all kinds of issues and you know piece by piece I've been sorting it out. Um, so I've got I've got a front cover built now that you can see. well I guess you can't see it but it's on there and then the sides and I'll have to come back later with the camera and show exactly how I did it uh, maybe how I might do it better next time. And right now I'm printing a um, uh, a a, a lid. A, a container with a screw lid on top. That's my first threaded piece, really. So I'll see how that comes out. It's supposed to be a, uh, a circular container with a, with a screw lid. We'll see how it comes out. The lid and the and the and the box are separate. So right now I'm just printing the box, and I'm printing it in the um, uh, Proto Paradigm green as well. So we'll see how that comes out. Anyway, I just wanted to throw this out there in case anyone was was trying to order more filament for MakerBot and was waiting and waiting and waiting for them to get back in stock. Uh, you might try one of the other companies. Proto Paradigm is the one I tried, and at least with the green so far, printing is good. So that's it for now. I'll be back. I got lots more to show you. I've been doing a lot of printing. I've got a lot of you know a lot of parts, a lot of stuff. Um, 
I do take pictures of a lot of things that I that I make and I put the pictures on Thingiverse and my username on Thingiverse is BusyBots same, same as here B-U-S-Y B-O-T-Z so if you wanted to have a look at my profile on Thingiverse you could see some of the things I'm making that uh, it's a lot quicker to just take a shot and stick it on Thingiverse and come, come here and make the video so kind of being selective on what I make with the videos I'm trying to do about a video a week if I can uh, and, I, and I've been shooting a lot of time lapses and uh, just putting those together also um, but I definitely want to get the Yoda time lapse up because that's just cool. I wish I could play the uh, the theme song, but YouTube will probably take it away if I did. So, uh, but yeah, who, <laughs> who doesn't want their own Yoda, right? So this was full scale. Oh, I forgot to mention that this is 75% scale. Uh, it just I thought it would take just so long. I, I scaled it down a little bit. This is full scale. I kind of wish the Yoda was bigger, and I might try scaling it up. I'll see. But I want, I want to try to figure out how I can fix the problem with the, the melting on the top of his head. Um, there's also a little problem. Let's see if I can show you. There's a little problem with under his chin. He's got like a little, a little, eh, it's probably hard to tell on the camera. A little extra plastic coming out there on the, on the base of his chin. Because that's, that's an overhang, right? There's nothing supporting the chin when it's printed. So the fact that it came out that well, I was really, I was really impressed. And the ears, I thought I'd have a lot of problems with the ears. Not really. On the point one millimeter, it started to uh, kind of blob up the plastic a little bit along one edge of the ears, but that's great. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for dropping by and uh, come back again. Probably have some more time lapse and um, some more reviews on particular things of Thingiverse, uh, especially some things I learned about putting this one together. Um, so stick around, come back. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.